Hello and welcome to releases for October 2016. Today we're going to be going over a number of games you're soon going to be able to get your hands on. The first on our list is Paper Mario Color Splash releasing on the Nintendo Wii U on October 7th. A mystery is afoot on Prism Island and only Paper Mario can solve it by resolving the island's vanishing colors with his new paint hammer and the powerful battle cards up his sleeve. These fresh layers of strategy along with hilarious action adventure gameplay and the series is known for makes this one of the most colorful Paper Mario action adventure games ever. So this game is kind of releasing in the vein of Paper Mario Sticker Star, so I'm a little weary of it, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Sticker Star wasn't necessarily well received and this is definitely keeping the battle style and a whole lot of the style taken from Sticker Star. So, I mean, me personally, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I played I played the original Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, fantastic. After that, I was like, okay. So, we'll see. I mean, I do really enjoy the Paper Mario series. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, we'll see. I hope it's in, I hope it's closer to the Nintendo 64 or the GameCube version of the game. But we'll see. Maybe we'll it'll see be how a fun story. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's releasing on October 7th. Next on our list is PlayStation VR, finally releasing on October 13th. Discover a new world of unexpected gaming and entertainment experiences with PlayStation VR. Redefine your expectations of immersion in gaming with moments so intense your intuition takes over. Step into incredible virtual worlds and experience entertainment in new and extraordinary ways. So, PlayStation VR, long talked about, long, a lot of people experiencing it. And long sold out since... The long sold weekend. out, which is probably why we're not seeing any ads for it. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I really want to get my hands on one. Can't quite get a pre-order at this point. Yeah. So, a little disappointed. But I am very excited to see a consumer version of uh, VR really come into, you know, the homes of millions of PlayStation 4 owners. Yeah, uh, the main the main thing I love about PlayStation VR is the fact it's the most accessible VR unit available to the public. And not only that, gamers are getting it first. I mean, we've heard of uh, VR having so many functions outside the gaming, but of course, gaming is kind of what's bringing it out to the mass market. So I'm really excited to see what it has to offer in the future. We also have Batman Arkham VR, Drive Club VR, and Riggs Mechanized Combat League also releasing on the October 13th release date. Battlefield 1 is releasing on October 18th. You experience the origins of modern warfare where the old world was destroyed, giving way to the new one. Use the innovative modern weaponry and vehicles of World War I as you battle across land, air, and sea. I, I can't believe how many times they stuck modern in that description. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Battlefield 1 is finally coming out. Talk about, it's supposed to be a unique experience. I mean, it's World War 1. So if anything, this is somewhat of a reimagining of World War 1, allowing for interesting new ideas and designs of what was available and technically possible in that day and age. So I'm really excited to see how they might play around with that. Yeah. It'll be interesting to play. I know. Battle I mean, train. We're so used to like the modern shooter or even the sci-fi shooter at this point. So seeing a, a far more historical style shooter mm. could be a little different. I mean, it's been a long time since we've had a good World War II game. So World War One's gonna have to suffice. I guess so. And that's releasing on October 18th. Coming out at the end of the month, we have Titanfall 2 releasing on October 28th. Bigger weapons make better friends in Titanfall 2, the epic follow-up to the genre of redefining Titanfall. Respawn Entertainment gives you the most advanced Titan technology in its new expansive single-player campaign and multiplayer experience. Combined and conquer with new Titans and pilots, deadlier weapons, and future-rich customizations, progression systems that help you and your Titan flow as one unstoppable killing force. Unite and destroy become one so titanfall 2 one of the biggest problems everybody complained about where's the campaign you know a lot Third, of people yeah. they didn't like the online only this is going to have a campaign is this enough to bring it back well that's the case with uh, uh titanfall 2 now featuring a single player campaign which is awesome 
They're also going to be bringing the amazing multiplayer to PlayStation owners for the first time. That's a big deal. This is a very, big, a very deal big deal because all, everyone knows Xbox One didn't sell too hot, but Titanfall original was an Xbox exclusive. So the fact that this is now coming to PlayStation is pretty awesome. That's millions and millions of gamers now get to experience the excitement of Titanfall. Yeah, and I know it, the game kind of burned out on a lot of people with Titanfall 1, you know, on the Xbox One. Uh, it just kind of fizzled out the community in general. It really uh, but it certainly brought a very, very unique style, you know, with the mech combat on top of a regular first person shooter we're no, kind was, of expecting. It was undeniably yeah. entertaining that's for sure yeah definitely a very welcome change so i'm really excited to check out titanfall 2 and that releases on october 28th but that's not all that's coming out this month we have mafia 3 releasing on october 7th gears of war 4 releasing on october 11th civilization 6 releasing on october 21st the elder scrolls 5 skyrim special edition also october 28th and then, of course, we have the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo just finally released, or just finally announced, and that's releasing on October 18th. I'm excited for that one, because contrary to the last demo that was available, this one's actually going to have new Pokemon in it. Yeah, and you know what? Honestly, as as more, as more we do more and more episodes of releases here, um, uh, it just reminds me, each passing month, there's better and better and more and more games coming out. So I'm super excited about this holiday season. I'm just playing Skyrim. I know, Skyrim's what? right there. Hey, if you like this video, maybe hit that like button. Maybe the subscribe if you want to see more. Just so you know, we do run a Twitch show, and that's over on Twitch TV slash Gaming Twins Show.